Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shergo Baje. Today we are considering Abraham's faith. How that Abraham's faith inherited the world. You know, in Romans chapter 4 and verse 13, the Bible tells us that God um, willed the entire world to Abraham, not by the works of the law, the righteousness of the law, but by the righteousness of faith. Glory to God. Abraham became the father of many nations because he believed God. He believed God's word to him. What did God say to him? In thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And Abraham believed God. And because he did, God made him the father of many nations. Glory to God. This is very important. A lesson for us to learn. Every one of us must come to this understanding that God is a faith God. When he gives his word, his word is, is already done, concluded, accomplished. But he wants someone who, who will settle with his word in faith and receive the reality of his word as his own present hour reality. That's what God is looking for. He wants somebody who will take his word for it and receive his word the way it is and be blessed by it. And Abraham was that man that he found when he needed one. He found him in Genesis chapter 12, and he called him to himself and said, leave your father's house, your country, to a place that I will show you, and I will bless you. And Abraham believed God. He believed God. He did not argue with God. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 12 and verse 4, so Abraham departed. He began following God. Every step of the way, and God began to increase him. God began to bless him. God blessed him with silver and gold. God blessed him with male and female servants. God blessed him with different good things that he had prepared for him ever before the world began. And God blessed him with wisdom. Can you imagine a man who was a farmer and had 318 trained fighters, soldiers, <laughs> armed men in his own house. What a great man he was. He was a man of faith that had so much wisdom, so much ability to multiply wealth because he believed God. Amen. And today, we are believers with Abraham and we have come to inherit that which Abraham believed God for because we have believed God as well with Abraham. Amen. Abraham's faith inherited the world. Today, there is nowhere under heaven where you mention that name and people don't stand in awe of Abraham. Amen. In the Muslim world, they respect him. Amongst the Jews, they respect him. Amongst Christians, they respect him for one reason. He was the man who walked with God by faith and he believed God's word. And today he has become the father of many nations. Your case can be different in that you are a believer as well. And today, every word that God has spoken to you is coming to pass in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Step you to God's word and hold on to that which God has spoken to you. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I'm a believer and I believe God's word. I walk in the light of God's word. Righteousness is mine. The world is mine. And I'm blessed with everything that God has blessed Abraham with. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that's what it means to inherit the world through the righteousness of faith in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. As faith is imparted to your spirit, it tears you up to act in line. To act in line. That means it creates and demands a corresponding action. Praise the Lord.